Well, here we are in Chelsea in London, and I'm about to show Ollie the inside of a Queen Anne period house we recently helped to furnish. Very excited to see it, Tim. So let's uh, let's have a let's look inside. through. Room, it's it? stunning, isn't it? It's, it's a happy, happy colour as well. Very happy colours. And when I first walked into this house, when there was nothing, nothing in it at all, uh, one of the great joys was seeing all the original panelling, the original fireplaces. With this tremendous, this extraordinary sort of deep chimney, chimney tremendous depth. Which is amazing. Well, the house dates from 1707, yeah. and everything from the style of panelling to the dado, it's all completely original. Um, just as the, the, the sash windows are, and, and even the, the marble fire surrounds there. We've created a, a collection in a way which, which is, could have grown over decades from 1707 onwards. Really. Absolutely, and, uh, and nothing static. I was very keen, and the clients I worked with was very keen to, 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 to show a very living and vibrant eclectic collection. Yes, absolutely, and, and, and with ref lots of references to, to London and things. And then lots of references. I mean, this picture here, um, painted in the 18th century, shows Greenwich. Yes. Um, it's wonderful. A wonderful view of the Thames. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, we're very near the Thames. Yes. Being in Chelsea, yes. um, I was very keen to find uh, some reference to, to the Thames so that uh, we could bring yeah. Uh, uh, views of, of, of surrounding London into the house. And I always think that building's so related to the Royal Hospital at Chelsea, isn't it? Because of course, Very close. I mean, some of it's by Wren, of course. And then, and then, then um, here you've, you've got these lovely oval mirrors which somehow expand the room through their reflection. Yeah. And, and their shape is echoed in the oval form of the, of the carved tables yes. below them. And what's lovely, because I suppose it's, it's that, that sort of neoclassical which softens this this earlier room in a way, doesn't it? It's very fine and, and elegant, that work, and you've got the, the, the slightly um, uh, a bigger, blockier panelling of, of the Queen Anne type. Absolutely, and I, I also love to combine circles and oval forms yeah. within rectangular spaces. It just somehow, as you say, it softens, it softens the overall uh, feel. The grate was, uh, was actually put in in the Regency period. Yes, it's a lovely one. Just at the end of the 18th century, probably, and uh, and the club fender was was that the club fender we found that as well terribly smart. So uh, I think the color the color's so nice. That sort of what what, what would you call that the color of that? It's um, almost a celadon. Yeah, it's green. It's, it's, it's really nice. Kind of green. It's quite fresh and young. Isn't Very it? fresh. Yeah. yeah. These are Japanese. Oh, yes, uh, they? Meiji period and yep. they're silver gilt. Bronze, finely, very, very finely cast and, and chased. What, what period is the Meiji period? So the, uh, the beginning of the twentieth century, oh, and uh, and it's they're really the finest metal work to have come out of Japan at the time. Um, and they're courting each other. They're courting each other, <laughs> yes, in conversation. <laughs> and then you've got some lo lovely maritime um, pictures going on. Here. Yes. Now these are hand-coloured engravings from the 18th century oh, and they're the Royal Dockyards, ah, yes. Deptford, Woolwich. Sheerness, Chatham, there are various... Yep. Plymouth. And, and somehow the gold against the blue skies and the Eglamise surroundings, I mean they, they really... Uh, they glow. They're really rather magical. Yeah, they're lovely. And, 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 and the, the, the light bounces off this, this, this gilt work here, doesn't it? And if we move on through to this room, this is the dining room. Panelling's a bit, bit plain here. It's no longer fielded. It's, it's no longer fielded, and, and it hasn't been recoloured with a secondary colour. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just in a, a, a cream painted room, but in, in a colour that's absolutely right for the period. Absolutely, and then there's this lovely bu buffet niche here. Yes. Which you've filled with treasures. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. These are all pieces of Chelsea porcelain, yes. uh, which date from the middle of the 18th century. The Chelsea porcelain factory, of course, was just a few hundred yards um, down yes, the road. Yes. And so. Um, the, the owner of the house was very keen to have some Chelsea porcelain here. As they might have had at the time. As they almost certainly would yeah, have had. So absolutely. it's wonderful to bring these pieces yeah. back into the house. And as you can see, they're all very floral. And some are almost like botanical studies. Because mm, you've got the physic garden down there, haven't you? Exactly. Like and with yeah. the, the discoveries of Sir Hans Sloane in the so 17th century, um, and it was brilliant to bring that sort of floral yes. theme. And then you've got it here as well. This is a uh, 17th century verdure tapestry. Um, fragment. It was made towards the end of the 17th century, yeah. and here you see a, a parrot seated on this tree, 
Um, it's charming. charming. Absolutely, Absolutely charming. charming. We've done something slightly different with the, the chimney breast here. You've actually used the, the two segments of the upper upper level with this beautiful um, glass here. This well, I always mirror. think it's nice if you can put a over mantle yes. mirror above a fireplace. You're lucky to um, find one that size. Very, very lucky. I mean, it's, it, I think there's sort of an inch difference in, in width. <laughs> and yes. um, this, of course, dates from about 17, 25, yeah. 30. Parcel gilt, so it's painted and carved gesso gilding. Yeah. And, and then the panel above, we found another seafaring picture. Uh, this one uh, by Monomy, and uh, again painted in the early 18th century. These are dove tiles, um, and uh, as was very much the tradition used used in this fireplace, these were actually here in the oh, house, the hell? and uh, and I think have been quite possibly here since the house oh, was built yes, around that yes. same time. And this is so this is their dining room now, because I suppose at the time um, you didn't necessarily you didn't necessarily have a dining room. You had a parlour. You, you had parlours so exactly. So the back rear parlour, the back yep, parlour, exactly. Timmy, you've got, you've got some beautiful botanical prints here again. Well, well again, we've been trying to continue the botanical theme throughout yeah. the house. So set on these painted panels mm -hmm. and these simple gilded frames. These are hand-coloured engravings from the early 18th century, showing flora and fauna, not only from the British Isles, but from around the world. These were the first great studies of the 18th yes. century as people discovered these extraordinary species through yeah. travels. And what's lovely is in the wintertime you've still got the, the garden on the walls in a way, haven't you? Well, I think it's yeah, really it's nice really to lovely. bring the garden into yeah. the house. And what about this exotic wall light here? Well, these I thought were, were just great They're fun. They're such fun, aren't they? They look like they've come off a, a, a rather elaborate Venetian coach yes, or something. Yeah. There's something uh, really wrong. And they've got a wonderful magical. old glass, sort of glass on the back or Lovely something. Lovely early glass. Which almost looks marbleized. It's yeah. extraordinary. No, it's, it's sort of perished over yeah. time. And how about this magnificent mirror here? Well, this is glorious. It's an early 18th century Regence period mirror. Uh, and it's wonderful having its original border plates, its yes. original mercury glass, oh. central plate. Fabulous cresting with these exotic birds. And again, it's, it's interesting. These 18, early 18th century houses, the panelling is not always where you want it to be. So you've got a very yeah. skinny one here, you've got a wide one here. And again, it shows you do not need to worry about that at all, as they wouldn't have done. I don't think they would have done. No, they wouldn't, absolutely. Because it was, it was done as a panelling was done as insulation and, and decoration. And decoration. Mm. And, um, but it was quite nice, I thought, to bring a piece of French furniture yeah, to the house. Yeah, it's magnificent. So, uh, shall we go upstairs, I suppose? Yeah. Look at this lovely parley twist on the stairs. I think this is the original absolutely. from the back. So this is without question my favourite piece in the in the entire collection, this William and Mary period mirror from about 1690. It has the original bevel plates with these incredible shooting star bevel cuts and uh, the cushion moulding in, mm. in Japaning, uh, wonderful condition, uh, floral motifs, chinoiseries throughout. I mean, it's just a great piece of furniture. And the silver gilt. The silver gilding is, is, is stunning. Yeah. And it's lovely where you come up the stairs and straight away that, and then past a load more beautiful botanical prints. Yes, again, continuing in, the botanical in bamboo theme. frames, yeah. Well, I found these wonderful gilded bamboo mouldings, and I thought they worked really, really yes, well. Yes, they're with really the, nice. Uh, yeah, so you put them in those? Yes, we Fantastic. put those in. And again, these are from the 18th century. And then it carries on the sort of chinoiserie sort of theme here. Yes, with, with this, this lantern, with this lantern, type lantern. We're going to top. Yeah, lovely. So, Tim, you, you've shown us a wonderful 1690s mirror. Now, this is obviously nearly a century later, but this is exquisite. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. It's uh, very much in the r taste of Robert Adam, pure 1770s neoclassicism yeah. with these ram's heads, the urn there, these acanthus scrolls. And these and little chains. Tiny it's little exquisite. Chains. Yeah, Absolutely it's exquisite. in wonderful condition with the original plate. Yeah. And uh, just a, 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 another rare survival. Mm. Really, really, f very pleased to find that. And it heralds the approach to the to the drawing room. I suppose. Is this the drawing this room? This is in the here? drawing room. Wow, what a wonderfully proportioned room! Isn't it program. fantastic? And again, on the subject of mirrors, yes. I think the best convex mirror I've yes. ever handled. Isn't um, that marvellous? With a sort with a with a seahorse yeah, thing. Yeah, a hippocampus yes. with stylized <laughs> dolphins yeah. uh, shooting water out of their mouths. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't the it? The best scrolling candle yeah. arms and the original plate, that lovely speckled plate as the mercury is yes. slowly yes. degrading over time. But it's gorgeous because again you've got this very deep chimney breast here and a neoclassical grate. Exactly. Yeah. And it's fantastic. 
And so, Tim, from that end of the room, now you've yes. got this, these marvellous tapestries that make the room even higher. Well, we wanted to soften this end of yes. the room as well. But as yes. you say, they do get yes, a tremendous wonderful. sense of height. Verticality. Yeah. Verticality. Um, these are Aubusson. They date from the second half of the 18th century. Lovely, soft colours. But again, with that Aubusson red just mm, jumping out there fantastic. in the parrot. But yes. a lovely scene with a mill in the background, with these slightly exotic, almost verdure-type tree sections. They're almost exactly the same size as these window openings. I mean, from, from top to bottom. From top so, to bottom. So again, when, when at night time or in the winter, when it's miserable outside, you've got these lovely scenes. And again, trying to bring the garden yeah, indoors. Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. clever. It's beautiful. Here we are in the first floor bedroom. These are Chinese export for yeah. the British market. And again, following on with that theme of nature, we mm. decided to turn this into an ornithological room. There are pheasants, parrots. What are they painted on? They're painted on paper. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yes. And of course, a crane here. And they're, ch they're, and they're charmingly framed. They're lovely. You've got the, sort of the gold and the sort of it's very... Close frame. Yes. Sort of, I quite like that simple style Absolutely. of framing rather than... And it's a lovely, top. comfortable chair as well. I know. We, we recovered that. So, Tim, this is, this is the master bedroom there. And there's a yeah. lovely mirror above there, isn't it? Yes, I was really pleased to find that. That dates from about 1725. Ah, so just a few years Original after gilding. That. Exactly. Yeah. And it's got some wonderful light here, hasn't it? Amazing flying staircase here, yeah. Tim. So, gosh, we're right up in the eaves now, Tim. So what's, yeah. what's this room? So this is a, a little guest bedroom with this wonderful clapboarding. Yes, it's great fun, and isn't it? very cosy, very charming. Beautiful lamp. I know, I, I love the stars, which uh, it's a Mandarin palette, uh, Chinese export porcelain vase. What date? Dates from about 1780, 90, oh, the Qianlong period. Lovely. And wonderful scenes of, mm. of Chinese uh, court life. Yep. Really yeah. jump, the colours really jump out. Beautiful upholstery on these. Yes, we, we upholstered these. Um, it's one, wonderful, intricate, uh, deep buttoning. These yes. are Victorian, probably the latest piece of furniture in the house. Yes, oh, um, really? uh, In terms of antiques, they date from the 1870s. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just sort of love the, 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 the form of them. These, these slipper chairs have a, a lovely, very slipper welcoming chairs. floor. And given that we've walked up all, I think we all this way, down. maybe we should just Exactly. <laughs> Will you ring the bell? <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> so now we're in the basement. Yep, in the kitchen. That's a very nice oh, like model day here. Yes. And Queen Anne, of course, who was reigning when this house was built. Yes. We found this mezzo to so it's nice that she's got a, a home here. And look at these amazing wall lights. They're fun, aren't they? Extraordinary. Completely Italian. incongruous, which is such a fun thing yeah. for a kitchen. Well, I think they add a set of bits to help you when you're cooking. Kitchen. Exactly. Yeah. And I must just show you something okay. here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? A little mini piece of architecture. It's fantastic, isn't it? With yes. eglamise panels, these Corinthian yes. and composition. Plasters. Like, plasters. Absolutely yeah. wonderful, Tim. That, I mean, that's magnificent, isn't it? You frame yourself within a, a palace. I think that's very nice. And the Prince of Wales feathers as Prince well. Prince of Wales feathers, exactly. So Tim, we're in a, in a really big high room here now. Yeah, the garden room. Yes, and did you have fun fur helping to furnish this? Yes, I mean, there, was, there wasn't a huge amount to do because the main theme of this really was the book collection. Yes, yes. But we did find these 17th century crew work fragments, which I absolutely love. They would have come off a bed hanging. Rich colours of greens, blues, reds. Wonderful survivals. The light hasn't got to them, mm. they've actually retained their... The colours are very vivid, aren't very, they? Very, very vivid. And it's been echoed a bit with the painting on, on, the, on the panels exactly. of the doors. Yeah. And did you yeah. find the chimney piece? So the chimney piece was here, yeah. but we did find the chairs. There, they're fantastic. And they've they? got a lovely Chinese yes. export feel about them. And another thing we found was this pair of lanterns, which um, I was very, very pleased. They, they look as though they've come off the side of a, an 18th century coach. Yes, they do, don't and, they? And uh, with their little cowls and everything. So it's a terribly dull day. Let's see what these look like when they're on. Brilliant yeah. idea. Yeah. Very nice. It's fantastic. What a lovely sort of inside and outside space. Yeah.
bird song. Lovely. I know, spring. Yeah, beautiful. Ollie, thank you for coming. It's Absolute pleasure, Tim. Great it's been, to it's been show a, you round. It's been wonderful to see an early 18th century house sort of with, with new life breathed into it. It's lovely. Thank you. <laughs>